What's going on, y'all? It's Eat with Patrick Blackwood, and this is what we have here today. We have scrambled eggs with cheese, red peppers, scallions, waffles, got some fruits. I got my water, obviously, and I got my syrup for my waffles. Man, if you guys haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, like, and share. Also, guys, go ahead and check the description box. I have a lot of stuff for you. Details how I made my eggs. My recipe will be there also. And guess what? Guess who's back on OnlyFans? It's your boy, back on OnlyFans, doing his grown man thing. So you guys go ahead and tap into that link too as well. We're about to get the show on the road. Hey man, I am so grateful to see another day being positive, having to share this moment with you, having this great meal. You guys are watching me. I'm just so blessed to be here. I just realized, I take some time to myself and I realized that uh, life is not guaranteed, you know? You gotta live every moment like it's your last. Oh man, this is amazing. See how thick the egg is. Add some cheese. I add some cloves in it. Cloves, y'all. Mm. Oh my god, this is so good. You see the red pepper, the scallions. Amazing. Oh my gosh. Ooh, we. I love me some blueberries. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm tearing this thing up. I am tearing it up. Man, I need to talk to y'all because I'm experiencing a lot of stuff. And I'm learning a lot about myself. I'm learning a lot. I'm learning to really just put my foot down, man. Like, people was funny these days. And this is what I'm experiencing. So, a couple of days ago, um, I was heading to practice. And you know, guys, the population here is 50,000 people. And if you watch my previous videos, how shocking it is just to have one Uber driver. Imagine how many taxi drivers are there. Well, I'm, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a benefit of the doubt, six. Six. Now, let me get back to the story. So, I'm heading to practice and I call my taxi driver. And they told me, hey, it will take five minutes. All right? So they called me, they text me back saying, never mind, it's going to take another 10 minutes. So, I let my head coach know, like, hey, I screenshot everything to him. It's like, hey, you know, I'm going to be late to practice. I text him this certain amount of time. They told me 10 minutes. They told me first that five minutes, now it's going to 10 minutes. All right, cool. And I got that egg in my mouth. <laughs> I said, all right, cool. I text him, I let him know, and I'm waiting. They said 10 minutes. I call the actual operator for that, that company and let them know like, hey, I sent you a text, I ain't hear from you. She's like, oh, I ain't get it yet. So I right, cool, she got it, she sent me a reply, so they gonna be here soon. Okay, cool.
really and truly, I waited about 25 minutes, 10, 10, I said 25 to 20 minutes tops. Because who knows where they coming from? I don't know. You understand? Know they could be taking somebody else. Um, they could be going from like downtown area. Who knows? I don't know this area. So, I got the training late. But I did let my head coach know that I'm going to be late. I mean, everything's out of my hand. Now, peep this. Now, peep this, like I was saying to you guys. The first thing they told me, I was on the phone, on webcam with them. You will have transportation. You will have a bus pass transportation. Um, you will have a physio that could handle you during the week if you need to recover. You'll be ta you'll be part taken into organizations like media stuff, interviews, um, TV stuff, right? Okay. So I got I got there late. I put on my things and I, I let him know from ahead of time what's going on. Ahead of time. That's just to being that's just being responsible as a man. Just telling you ahead of time what is going on and what is the situation and why. Clearly, I don't have a transportation. I'm in a different country. And my head coach is from Czech and he speaks English. And I'm going to finish the story. So I got there and did training. Training was okay. Um, I did pretty well. Um, they, they installed some new plays, which they never installed a plays into our play, playbook yet. They were just trying it out, which it was okay. And I mean, I did really well. Now we get into the end of practice. <laughs> this, is the, this, is the, this is the part that, that gets me. Get to the end of practice. Now tell me if I'm wrong, y'all. Tell me if I'm wrong. If I clearly, you guys probably handled some situation or been in this scenario before. If you've been in a situation, you tell your boss or you tell somebody that you're going to be 10, 15 minutes late and this is what happened and it's out of your control and you're in a brand new city, and you know, a different state and you don't know nobody. Say for instance, you live in Mexico. You don't speak Spanish. But you know Sally speaks English and Spanish. Sally knows that you're not from here, from a campaign. They know you. If you went to any Mexico hood, they know you're not from here. You get what I mean? So he pulled me to the side and he's like, oh, why are you late? I was like, yo, did you get my text? That's the first thing I said. Oh, you got to be professional. You got to be like this. You got to be like that. And I had to like, you know what? I'm going to check you real quick. He's like, oh, I'm your head coach. Screw the head coach shit. I said, screw it. You ain't head coach. Now we speaking as an adult. Because everything you asked me to do, I've done it. it. Ain't like I didn't back talk you like, uh, uh, this, uh, that. I didn't say like, if you told me, Patrick, I need a pair of socks. I'm going to give you a pair of socks. It's because that's my character. Or you say, hey, Patrick, I need to be here at a certain time. I'm going to be there at a certain time. So the criteria that you said you're going to do, you haven't reached the criteria. Your word don't mean shit to me. You get what I mean? For example, real talk. This man said, hey, Pat. He came to me at my first practice. Just use this helmet right here, man. Um, I'm going to get you a brand new helmet. I'm like, okay, cool. 
I've been here for about two months, didn't get a brand new helmet. So why are you telling me this? Why are you gaslighting me? I'm, why should I even? So he's like, oh, why are you telling me all these scenarios? I'm like, well, because this is what I'm trying to tell you. All the shit that you're saying don't make any sense. You're not backing up with action. Anything you tell me to do, I back it up with action. I, I get you gave you say, hey, I need you to do this. I did it. No hesitation. I changed and I did it with no hesitation. There's no back talk. There's no, hey man, you gotta be professional. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna be professional. I'm gonna do what I gotta do to show you I'm professional. Right? Well, okay. I said, yo, you didn't you didn't get a helmet, a brand new helmet. You lied. That's one. I asked you for a physio. You say you have your physio here. They said they're gonna take till May. Nah. I said, yo, I can't do that. I sent you a screenshot for a chiropractor in the city of Prague. No answer. Then I brought it up again a few weeks later. Oh, the team, your your back quarterback can do it for you. Okay. See, all you making all these excuses. And you don't even realize that you're making all these excuses, right? Brought to back up quarterback. Hey, I got you on, on, on Friday. I'm just making up an example. And he was like, all right, wait, I'm waiting until Friday. He didn't do shit. So why keep on, why should I keep on nagging people about anything? So this is his response. Well, I'm busy. Okay, you're, you're busy. Why didn't you call me? Why should I call you? You're busy. You answer your own damn question. You're busy. He said, well, I, you know how many of your teammates this, do this? I'm like, okay, is, your, is my teammates American? Do they speak Czech, right? They speak Czech, right? They speak your language, right? Like, that don't make no damn sense. I'm from a I'm 5,000 miles away from here. 5,000 miles away from my own soil that speaks my language. Compared to, let's think about this, vice versa. And I told him like this, if you were in Miami, in Carroll City or Liberty City, and you speak a little bit of English, a little bit of English, and you know, I'm the only person that knows you. And you call me like, hey, I need you to be here. And you text me and you call me and I ignore your call. How do you think you're going to feel? You're not going to go to a random motherfucker and say, hey, I'm going to go talk to this person. They know you're not from here. If I drop you in Kara City or Liberty City, they're not going to talk to you. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I, I don't understand. See, this is the reason why I understand how people move now. They are so cluttered with their own problems and not understanding the problem, what they're doing, their friction of their own problem. Because it's, it's simple. You're talking about, hey, your teammates is always calling me and you deal with you dealing with them and you speaking in check. Okay, that makes sense because guess what? If you talking to them in check, that means like, damn, I have an American import that plays on my team. Let me check on one of them and see how he's doing because he's not from here. I'm not asking to baby me. Because everything I've done is on my own. I ain't asked for. Hey, man, let me let me go ahead and do this in the third. I'm going to keep on calling you, calling you. Call. I'm not a female, bro. I'm not a female. I'm not going to call you 20 times just to say, do you remember you promised me this? Do you remember when you promised me? I don't got time for that, bro. I'm so, bro. And that's what I'm saying. People be into their own emotions and not understand the real problem, what they do to people. And I've been there and I've done that because I understand why why I did that, for, for example. So I'm, I'm telling you that that's the problem. Because you got sick in your own emotion, in your own mind. Instead of you 
deal with your own freaking problems, then you won't have these mental issues of, damn, you know what? I should have said this. I should have said that. You get what I mean? Like, that's the reason why people can't deal with other people. This is the reason why people can't have a good relationship because they don't speak about it with the person that deal. Like, say, for instance, I have father abandoned, abandoned issues with my father, not having my father in my life. Right? I tried so hard to have my father in my life. And what did that get me? Nowhere. Because guess what? We don't talk. And that's okay. Because it's not like I don't love him. I do love him by far. And I, res I respect him by far. But I know myself. You get what I mean? So for the fact that he told me, oh, well, you know, your my teammates reach out to you. Bro, I only need to reach out to you once. And I, all I had to do is, once I said something, I'm going to do it. If you ask me something, I'm going to do it. I'm going to make sure that task is done. Now, if I ask you so many times about this task, oh, man, I got so many damn things going on, this and that. I don't care about that. That has nothing to do with me. The same thing like if you tell me, I ask you, yo, where's the chiropractor at? And you can't even get back, get back with me within 24 hours. And I had to talk to you in a week about this thing. That shows me I can't trust you. you I can't trust you. I can't depend on you. Simple as that. I cannot, I cannot depend on you. What you going to bring me? Oh, I care about you. You know you don't. <laughs> you really don't. You really don't, bro. You don't fuck with me. You you exploit my image. You exploit my talent. You don't fuck with me. You don't. Then that's the truth. I'm just sick and tired of hearing him. And I'm here and listen to this man. And he's like, yeah, man. You know, I care about you. I know you were sick that one day. So I text you. And you never replied back. Well, if I never replied back, then there's, some, there's a problem if I didn't reply back. Then you should say, hey, let me call this man because we don't know what's going on. He don't have no family here. So let me just call to see if he's all right. You don't even do that. You don't even do that. Why would you text me if I'm, I'm not feeling too good? And then he's like, oh, man, you know what? You just looking for somebody to baby you. I'm like, no, the hell I don't. Because everything I've been doing is on my own. I don't even talk to y'all. When you see me, I'm at training. I don't ask y'all for nothing. I do everything on my own. I move on my own. I'm like, yo, you sound stupid. Oh, you should just call me and let me know. I'm like, no, nah, I'm not doing that, bro. I'm not your female. I'm not your female. I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't here to do, call you. Do you remember you're supposed to do this? Do you remember you're supposed to do that? Nah, I don't do shit like that. Because when you ask me to do something, I do it the first time and it's done. If you don't move like how I move, that's on you, bro. That's why you disorganize. That's why. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I don't care what you think. That's why I move how I move. I'm done with racism in your country. But hey. I don't bring it to your attention. I'm a grown man. I get it. 
I get it. That's why I don't even waste my time anymore. Why should I talk to people they trying to harm another person? I don't got time for work. I just focus on me, focus on getting back on the grind, create content for y'all, and do what I got to do. Because at the end of the day, who, gonna got, who got me? <laughs> just me. I got to protect myself. I got to protect my health. person I got is me. Only person that can beat me is me. I know when I die, guess what's gonna happen? Who's gonna be in the box by my who's gonna be the box with me? Myself. Nobody else. Nobody else. Once you swallow that hard pill and you know that you, you only got you and you only can depend on yourself to make it where you need to make it, it is what it is. But don't come out here talking about you've been doing this for me, you be doing this behind. You ain't got nothing to show for it. So at the end of the day, I got to do what I got to do and get out the muscle. Regardless if I don't know the, I don't know the language, I do the translator. And if I'm late, I reschedule. And I, I just go off of where my energy gonna take me because at the end of the day, I don't trust nobody out here. Period. I ain't making nobody harm me. Straight like that. Because all you do is exploit my image, exploit my talents. So you're exploiting me, and I don't get to exploit myself. I'll be damned. I'll make anybody y'all, and you make anybody harm me. You got me fucked up. But until next time, y'all, I'll see you guys in my next one. Love.